You may have seen some videos about the new EU travel authorization starting in 2024 called ETIAS. If you're the designated travel planner like me, you're going to want to listen because there are many things in those videos that were left out, which are really important for travel planning. This is the website where I got this information. It's also the same website that the other videos have used, but I spent some time going into the frequently asked questions because I'm actually planning a trip to Europe for next year. A quick recap for those who don't know what ETIAS is. It's a new travel authorization that is going to be required if you want to travel to any of these 30 European countries. And you're traveling from any of these countries, which includes the US, Australia, and UK. The online application costs seven euros. This is not a residence permit and is not a visa. ETS is just for short-term trips, which is under 90 days, and you don't have to reapply if you return. It's good for three years. The next part is really important for travel planning. When should I apply for ETS? Their answer is before you book flights and hotels. Why? Because although the online application should be approved quickly or at most in 96 hours, in certain cases, they said, you may have to interview and that could take up to 30 days. What if your travel plans aren't confirmed yet? Obviously, if you haven't booked flight and hotel, it says that when you apply, you just have to put in the first country that you enter and then you are allowed to change travel plans. The website right now isn't open and they're not accepting applications. So I would keep checking back in case there's changes. Hey, travel planners, for those of you who are worried about the new EU authorization called ETIAS, you don't have to worry about it because they push the start until mid-2025. So go ahead and start planning your Euro summer vacations. If you found this video helpful, hit the subscribe button and check out my other videos on travel tips and planning.